In the JavaScript programming language, you may run into an edge case where it appears as if a string is not actually a string. Now what do we mean by this? Well, let's take a string, we'll call it str, and we'll set its value equal to the string value str. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the type of this string. So we say type of str. Now if we look at the type of this string, we'll see in the console that this is indeed a string. However, if we console.log again, and we say str instance of string to see if it inherits from the string class, we'll get the value false. So what we found is this string str has the type of string, but does not seem to inherit from the string class. Now why could that be? Well, it turns out in JavaScript, there's actually two types of strings. So in JavaScript, you have a string that you create, and it's a primitive. So you say const str1 equals my string. Now this is a primitive string, but JavaScript also ships with an additional type of string. Now this is a string that's created using the string constructor. So we can say str2 equals string my string. Now if we clear and we run this, after we log these, we log str1 and str2, you'll note that str1 and 2 seem to have the same value, even though they were created two different ways. So what's going on behind the scenes is string is actually a constructor that is a complex object that creates primitive strings. So here, we're literally defining a primitive string, and here, we're calling the string constructor in order to create the primitive string. Both are resulting in the same value, but only one is an instance of the string object because it's going through the string constructor.